good morning students let us welcome back to the next video class let us one small review the previous class portion children you remember that what are the things learned in this previous class you remember that children yes modification of stem am i correct the modification of the stem so that is they comes on the run three types one is aerial stem modification subaerial stem modification and underground stem modification am i correct yes and the last one more topic is you learned that's it stem branching am i correct so this much of the portion sounding about that in last class today's class we are going to learn about that's our sort of next topic leaf clear what does mean by leaf children what does mean by leaf what is the appearance of the leaf what is the color of the leaf do you know yes the leaves are green in color very thin flattened so the lateral outgrowth of the stem am i correct the stem is going that's a lateral outgrowth only they produces in the leaf am i correct first what is the first and foremost important of this function of this leaf very good photosynthesis that is the site of the photosynthesis that is the major area of the leaf am i correct then also they are takes place in many functions children transpiration gaseous exchange so these all the, the functions they are doing in this leaf area am i correct yes what does mean by phloem what does mean by phloem means so the leaves of the plant the together we are called the leaf of the plant the together we are called its name is known as phloem am i correct yes the next one that we are going to learn about it so what are the characteristic features of leaf so the leaf is already you know that one so that is us the lateral appendages of the stem so they are only that is the first characteristic features of the leaf the next one the node of this stem so they are only they born on the leaf am i correct the nodal part that's a node and inner node you know that one so that's the region so only that born on the leaf so this one as next one as exogenous organ what is mean by exogenous in origin it means that's the external growth of this like structures okay the external growth of this structure so that is we are called as a exogenous in origin so that has that's a possessing that's a um, they do not possess that apical bud so they possessing in that's a only that's a leaf regions clear the next one so that's a if we are taking in a one leaf means so they are presence in a mainly three parts right one is leaf base okay so this one is this is a region leaf base petiole and leaf lamina so these are the three regions only they presence in the leaf the next one so this is the leaf this leaf lamina they tra traversed by that's a, so they are presence in the veins so that veins only they are presence in the there is a vascular tissues clear children so these are the things what to write in a what are the characteristic features of leaf the next one what are the major functions of leaf the functions of leaf so that is they comes under in a two types children one is primary function and another one is a secondary function first and foremost functions of this primary functions in this leaf means so that is they comes under already you know that's a photosynthesis transpiration gaseous exchange production of this bud and also the conduction the transporting of this water and that is a dissolving solute molecules so all the things are they transporting through that area so these are the things are they consider as that primary function clear yeah. secondary function means additional function they doing in this additional functions of storage protection support and reproductive reproduction clear yeah. storage means that say example of the species is olive and agave species protection they giving in this some certain protection of this leaf so that's a species name is opentia then supporting function so the leaf for they giving in additional support of this particular plant so that is a chlorica superba and nepenthes the next one is reproduction so that's a leaf for they producing they growing it that is that they produces in any ones am i correct so that's a example of the species is bryophyllum and begonia clear children so these are the additional secondary functions they are considering in a leaf Okay. The next one is we are going to learn about. It's a part of the leaf. Very very important one of the five marks 
questions chella so all should be learned thoroughly in this question answer yes parts of the leaf already i told this one what are the three parts children mainly leaf base petiole this is the stalk like structure the petiole and the leaf lamina okay the leaf base is we are called that's name is known as hypodium hypodium clear the next petiole region is we are called as mesopodium then lamina region leaf lamina or that is the leaf lamina region is called that is name is known as epipodium clear children so once again what are the three parts children what are the three parts very good first one is hypopodium then petiole part is we are called as mesopodium and then the next last one is leaf lamina so that is we are called that's name is known as epipodium clear children yes so first of all so here we are learning that a leaf base the leaf base area so this leaf base area first of all we are going to learn about that sir where is the regions to presence that leaf base okay where is the regions to presence that leaf base means so that the leaf is the presence in that that's a base of the region they attaching to the node of the stem is called the leaf base okay the leaf for attaching to the that's a very closely attached to that's a stem region so that region is we are called the name is known as leaf base mainly what is the use of this leaf base means so that is the protecting of this growing bud am i correct this is what the leaf and they give that a protection that's a major duty for that one so here that's a two type of the leaf base is present children right? what are the two type of this leaf base means here first one is pulvinous leaf base and another one is sheathy leaf base clear pulvinous means certain legumes plants so legumes plants means so there that's a leaf base is it's a swollen the leaf base region this is the leaf base region so there they presence in that there's a very broad and a swollen like nature that is attaching with the stem children so that is we are called that's a what is the type of this leaf base very good so that is a leaf base is we are called that's a pulvinous type clear so this one is they comes under in that is a species examples of that's a clitoria lab lab and a cassia okay so these are the species that they comes under na pulvinous type of leaf base the next one is sheathing leaf base the sheathing leaf base means so this one is they mainly they presents in the monocotyledons plants right these monocotyledons uh, plants that's a sheathing leaf base is that's a just a sheath like structures or that is the one of this the sheath or clasps like structures they attaching to the internodal part clear so such type of this the leaf is suppose when the leaf is fall down there is the internodal region one scar is they presence okay the when the leaf fall fall down at the ground so at that time the scars are they remaining in that is the internodal region so this type of this leaf base is we are called that's in name is known as sheath leaf base okay so this is they comes under in many monocot families like aricaceae aricaceae and the musaceae family gingivaceae family and polyaceae so these are the certain families the examples to present in the sheathy leaf base clear children yes next one is we are going to learn about so what are this the examples of the families are they coming under in a sheathing leaf base very good. commonly we are that is coming monocot families aricaceae musaceae gingivaceae and polyaceae okay so these are the families that they come so that in this one aricaceae means so that's a palm tree like the structures then musaceae musa banana banana species there one good example gingivaceae turmeric ginger so these are polyaceae that's a rice rice so this is the uh, examples of this some of the monocot families clear second part is petiole or stipe okay petiole or stipe what is mean by petiole so the lamina and that's a 
so this is the lamina part this is the leaf base part bridge between these two know that's a little stalk like structure is present children right? so this is your call that's name is known as petiole clear yeah. so this petiole is sometimes they may be that's a leaf is that's a structure is a cylindrical form sub cylindrical form or that is a flattened like structures so that one is the joining in the system okay the cellulose is the joining to that's a leaf lamina regionis the joining to that's a stem children right? so that is the region is we are called that's name is known as petiole or stipe we are telling that's a stipe okay the petiole is suppose the leaf with the petiole so in this see this leaf look here so here the the leaf with the petiole is present means so that is we are called that a petiolite leaf okay suppose the leaves without the petioles means so that is the type of the leaf is we are called the name is known as sessile leaf clear children so these are the two terms we are telling leaf with the petiole that is we are called petiole like leaf the leaf without petiole that is we are called that's name is known as sessile leaf clear petiole like leaf so there is the example of this species is the ficus and the hibiscus okay ficus and the hibiscus the next one Sessile leaf. So that is the good example of the leaf is a calotropis. Okay, so that's the leaf name is known as calotropis. The next one is leaf blade or lamina regions. Okay, so the leaf blade. So in this part, so there comes under it the third one of this region. So leaf lamina. Okay, so that's leaf lamina or that is the leaf base regions. Okay, sorry. the leaf lamina or that is the leaf blade part so this region is we are called as it is known as leaf lamina or that is the leaf blade region clear children right? yes the next one what is the nature of this leaf lamina or this leaf blade region means so there is the one of the flat green part of the leaf is we are called as name is known as okay so this is the flat green part of the area is we are called its name is known as leaf lamina or that is the leaf blade region okay so here what is the major functions many functions photosynthesis gaseous exchange transpiration and so many metabolic reactions so all these things so they takes place in this areas only understood children yes the next one so this is the leaf lamina region traversed by that is their presence in a many veins so these veins regions only internally so there only they presence in a vascular tissues vascular tissues means so their presence in a xylem and the phloem elements am i correct children so what are the things are they presence in that is the uh, below that region very good so their presence in a midrib and midrib so that's presence in a side lateral veins and also their presence in a veinlets Okay, so these all the things are they present in a leaf lamina part. Clear, children? Yes. The next one, some of the additional points. Eh? What is mean by stipule? What is mean by stipule? So in this region, one small outgrowth like structure is there, no? So that is stipule. What is mean by stipule? Means so small the lateral appendages or that is the outgrowth like structures. Lateral appendages or outgrowth like structures that is found in a dicotyledon plants. Clear? So that is we are called the name is known as stipules. Clear, sir? Right? But this leaf, the width that is stipule is present means so that is the stipules is we are called that is name is known as stipulated leaf. Clear? Suppose that is the leaf without the stipules means so that is we are called that is name is known as it stipulates under structure right? but the stipule means the stipule is presence in the leaf means so that is we are called stipulated leaf suppose absence of this leaf that is stipule means so that is we are called that's name is known as it stipulate leaf clear children right? yes next one what does mean by ligule what does mean by ligule this ligule means one of the small that is the or a growth like structures that's the outgrowth like structures that is present between the leaf base area and the leaf lamina okay between the leaf base area and the leaf lamina region they are in between they presents in a one small growth outgrowth like structures 
that is we are called that name is known as ligule this one is mainly found in a monocotyledons so this stipulates it comes they found in the which type of the plants dicotyledon ligule is present in a monocotyledons plants understood children say is no can you differentiate this stipules and ligule very good the next one what do you mean by stipules what does mean by stipules the stipules means so this also just like an the stipules all growth like structures only children but this one has the presence in a base of the leaf let that's the leaf let the small 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 and flat like structures no that's a, especially they, they are mentioning in this stipules compound leaf so the compound leaf the base of the compound leaf that's the axil region so only they presence in a in that item clear so that is we are called the stipules of so the stipules means so that also just the stipule like one outgrowth clear this stipules like one outgrowth that is they presents in the base of the leaflets of the compound leaf clear this is just a leaf type also they comes under two children one as a simple leaf and another one as the compound leaf this compound leaf and the leaflet base and region so only they presents one small outgrowth like structures clear so that is we are called the stipules So these are the terms are very very important. So two more question. Define stipules. Okay. The next one. What is ligule? What is stipules? So these are the three questions you must prepare in this area. Understood, ma? Suppose they are asking that sir, five more question. Write that. Write an account of parts of leaf. Means you must write these all the explanation with diagram. Clear, sir? Diagram. So it's a But in the, in the book, textbook, they are given that's a one leaf diagram and then two that's a leaf base representation diagram. Okay, you must draw this diagram as well as this kind of part. Clear, children? Clear to write? Yes, good, very good. The next one is we are going to learn about that's a venation. The next part is venation. What does mean by venation? So venation means the arrangement of the veins and the veinlets okay on the leaf laminar region is known as what is that venation understood you right the arrangement of the veins or a veinlets on the leaf blade or lamina leaf blade or leaf lamina that is we are called the venation okay this venation so they comes under in a two types children one is reticulate venation and another one is parallel venation what are the two types children a reticulate venation and another one more is a parallel venation so first of all what does mean by reticulate venation means so here that's a venation one prominent midrib is present midrib means the centrally going on line no that is midrib clear about one central midrib then that one is they produces in a so many lateral veins and also their presence in a numerous veinlets clear finally they forms in a network like structures that type of this venation as we are called the reticulate venation understood children reticulate venation how will you form that reticulate venation very good the reticulate venation there is a prominent midrib is present so that the prominent midrib they presents in a they arises in a several secondary veins from that one they are arising in a small veinlets finally together to make it in a network like structures clear so that is we are called that name is known as reticulate venation understood children say is or no this reticulate venation is also they comes under in a two types of right one is pinnately reticulate venation and another one is palmately reticulate venation clear what is the two types pinnately reticulate venation and palmately reticulate venation pinnately reticulate venation means what does mean by pinnately reticulate venation so here all of us need children only one midrib and the center clear so this pinnately reticulate venation 
only one matrix in the center so that one they arises many lateral weights and then separate weights together to form that is a network okay for only one matrix only in the center of the sleeve clear okay. then from that one they arises in a many lateral weights together to make it in that digit like structure network that is we are called pinnately reticulate variations understood so this condition there is a many examples of there anyway so it's a textbook as they are given that's the one of this example is ficus and also they are giving in a magic variety yeah? so these are the examples as they come under in a pinnately reticulate venation clear pinnately reticulate venation means so here there is only one matrix am i correct here two or more metric veins are principal veins means main veins clear two or more main veins are that is the principal veins so this one has arises in a one of the single point so that one has going outwards or that is the upward directions to the mortis clear so this type of this car venation is we are calling that is permanently reticulate venation permanently reticulate venation is here only one midribble clear so here two or more that is a primary or that is the principal points that is arises from the one of the single point they proceeds outwards or upward direction or they are they proceeding that is a outwards or upward direction okay so that type of the venation as we are called that's name is known as permanently reticulate venation clear then so this is they comes under in two types of run one is divergent and another one is convergent very very the simple one difference is still right divergent means all the veins are originated from the base they diverge they touch to the leaf margin this is called a divergent type convergent means all of you listen that's final first of all they starting from the base only but these veins are they joined at the apex of this leaf apex means that the tip of the leaf all the veins are joined clear so this type is we are called a convergent this is divergent this is convergent convergent means once again this veins are they mainly they originated from the base but that is not united at the tip clear that's the venation as we are called a, what is the venation very good divergent type so here that is the base is starting from this area only but all the veins are they joined at the tip they united at the apex of the leaf so that is we are called a convergent clear children very simple uh, so difference only so you have to be learn clearly okay this divergent type permanently reticulate venation divergent type is that's a good good example of this species is carica papaya okay then convergent type indian plum that is a sisyphus lambda okay so this is the one of this good example for convergent type clear okay. the next second type is parallel parallel means the veins are run parallel okay so the veins are run parallel so here look at look at here so this one the veins are run parallel okay so this type is we are called that's name is known as parallel type of veins okay here this parallel type also they are comes under in a two types of run one is pinnately parallel venation and another one is permanently parallel venation clear pinnately parallel venation and second one is permanently parallel venation pinnately parallel venation so here that's one of the prominent midrib at the center all of you listen the prominent midrib at the center that is a many veins so arises in the lateral position they perpendicularly they run parallel to each other clear so they perpendicularly they run parallel to each other so for central region that's only one single main vein is there okay then also in that region from that one they arises in a many veins so they going perpendicularly run parallel to each other understood children 
So this type is we are called that's a pinnately carnal venation. That's a good example of the species is musa, banana plant and also there is a ginger. Okay, so these are the two good examples of that's a pinnately parallel venation. The next one, permanently parallel venation. Permanently parallel venation means that's the same type is applied here, children. Already we learned this reticulate venation. No, reticulate venation means so their formation of this network like stretches. Okay, so but here that's the that's veins of run parallel. Clear? Yeah, so that's the word is very very important. Divergent means that's the same concept, but that is that is not attached to that's the tip of the vein. Am I correct? So that is we are called a divergent type. Then convergent means that's the veins of they run parallel. At that finally the tip of the portion all the veins are joining. Okay, clear children? So this is the convergent type. That's a good example of this divergent type is whereas this flavelly formis palm tree okay then convergent type bambo rice so water hyacinths these are the certain example like oh yeah. so these are the certain examples of they come solar in a convergent type so what we see here so this is the look at this diagram this is the divergent leaf so that's an example of the species name is Barasus. very good Barasus flavelly formis clear palm tree. The next one is convergent type. So here. So that is the species examples of rice, bamboo. So these are the examples as they come under in a the convergent type. Clear children? So this is the one of the next one of the five more question. What is venation? That's the two more question. What is venation? Explain the types of venations. Understood now? Say is or no? Yes. Next one. The third one of this five more question. Two five more questions are over. First one, discuss or write and note on parts of the leaf. So then you learn that's a three parts. Right? Can you able to say what are the three parts? Very very important one of the five more questions. Right? What are the three parts? Leaf base, petiole or stipule. Very good. Petiole or stipe. Stipe. Yeah. Stipe. The last one is leaf blade or that's the leaf laminar region. Clear? Yes. Then second one of this five mark question. Venation. So that's one of the two more questions. What is venation? Then explain the types of venation. What are the types of venation children? Good. Try it now. What are the types of venation? Reticulate venation and parallel venation. Reticulate and parallel venation both these conditions are there comes under the runner two types. What are the two types? Pinnately Reticulate venation, palmately reticulate venation. Am I correct? Then similarly applying with parallel venation also. Very good. Innately parallel venation and palmately parallel venation. Clear? Palmately uh, reticulate venation and palmately parallel venation also comes under two types. What are the two types? Divergent and convergent type. Clear? Isn't it clear, children? Say some no ma. Yes, good, very good children. The next one is very very important. Another one of the five mark question children, phyllotaxy. Okay, so the next one of this five mark question is phyllotaxy. First one, the two mark question, very very important one of the two mark question. What is phyllotaxy? The mode of the arrangement of the leaves on the stem is known as phyllotaxy. Clear? The mode of the arrangement of the leaves on the stem is called a phyllotaxy. Clear? Once again, try it, children. The mode of the leaves or arranging on the stem is called the phyllotaxy. Okay, phyllon. So that means by leaf. Taxis means so that's the arrangement. What is the major functions of phyllotaxy means? So what is the major functions means? So to avoid in that some overcrowding of the leaves. So many leaves are crowded means so that time the phyllotaxy that's very 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 one of the important role there. Then also all the leaves they get it in a sufficient sunlight. Okay, so that is the exposure only. There's a phyllotaxy the leaves are arranging in that certain certain arrangements on the stem part. Clear. Yeah. So this is the major functions of this phyllotaxy. Then. So next we are, next we are going to learn about that sir. What are the types of phyllotaxy? The types of phyllotaxy they are mentioning in the syllabus they are mentioned. That's a four type of phyllotaxy children. Alternate phyllotaxy, opposite phyllotaxy, 
ternate phyllotaxy and whorl or verticillus phyllotaxy. Clear? Alternate phyllotaxy, opposite phyllotaxy, ternate phyllotaxy, whorl or verticillate phyllotaxy. Clear? So these are the four types of phyllotaxy. Clear? Let us learn one by one, children. First one, alternate phyllotaxy. Alternate phyllotaxy means, so here this is the alternate phyllotaxy, children. The nodal regions, so in this each node's region, they arises in only one leaf. Clear? So that is we are called, that's the alternate phyllotaxy. Alternate phyllotaxy means, that's a only one leaf per node. Okay? There is presence in that is a successive node. They are arranging in an alternate to each other. Okay. So they are arranging in an alternate to each other. So this is we are called that is alternate phyllotaxy. This alternate phyllotaxy also they comes under in a two types of right? one is alternate spiral and another one is alternate disticus. Clear? Alternate spiral and alternate disticus. First of all, alternate spiral means, so here, the leaves are arranging in an alternate manner. So, that one is the alternate arrangement with a spiral manner. Spiral means rolling back, clear? The stem is present means that's a rolled like appearance is present. So, that is we are called alternate spiral phyllotaxy, clear? Alternate spiral means the leaves are the presence in it, they are arranging in an alternatively in which manner? Spiral manner. Clear? That is we are called alternate spiral phyllotaxy. Good example of the species is hibiscus and ficus. Clear? The next one is alternate disticus. That's the example is given in your the textbook. They are given this diagram. This is polyaltia. Okay, this is the polyaltia longifolia. So this one, how to arrange in this one means the leaves are arranging alternately in a two rows on the either sides. Okay, two rows wise on that either sides. Clear children? So that is the phyllotaxy we are called. That's it. Alternate disticus phyllotaxy. But here the leaves are arranging in an alternative way. But that's each node region that presents in only one only. Okay. But that's a two rows on the either sides. Two rows wise on the either side is arranging means that's a type of phyllotaxy is we are called that's name is known as alternate disticus phyllotaxy. The good example of the species is polyaltia longifolia. Clear children? Yes. Next one, opposite phyllotaxy. Very, very important one of the five more questions, children. So, let me listen carefully. Opposite phyllotaxy. What does mean by opposite phyllotaxy means? In this type, the leaves or each node region, they arises the two leaves. Clear? This is only one alternate means. So, here opposite means, let's say each nodal region. They present, so they found in that two leaves. Understood now? So that is, they present, they are arranging in an opposite to each other. That is, we are called an opposite phyllotaxy. Clear? So here also, the opposite phyllotaxy also, they comes under in a two types of right? One is opposite superposed and another one is opposite deposit. Clear? Opposite is superposed. First of all, we are going to learn about that's the first type. Opposite is superposed. The opposite is superposed means the pair of these leaves, they are arranging in the same direction to the opposite pair. Clear? So here, the pair of the leaves, they are arranging in the same, they are arranging in the oppositely in the same direction. Okay, very, very important opposite arrangement. But there is their presence in the same directions. Clear? The opposite manner, same direction. That is, we are called the opposite superposed. Okay? That's a good one of the example is Goa. So, that's a simium species. So, that's a good example of opposite superposed below that example. The next one, opposite deficit. Opposite deficit. So, here, 
This type of willow taxi, one pair of the leaves. One pair means their presence in each nodes region, two leaves. Clear? One pair of the leaves are they placed right triangles to the upper or lower node of this leaf. Clear? One pair of the leaves, they are present in a right triangle to the next upper or lower pair of the leaves. So that's the type as we are called, the name is known as opposite deficit. Very good example of the two species name is Calotropes osimum. So these are the two examples they are given in the opposite deficit manner. Clear? The next one is third one of the type is a ternate philotaxy. Ternate philotaxy. So here that's a word as they present that answer. Ternate means each nodal regions. Okay? Their presence in a three leaf is present. For each node's region, their arises three leaves. So that type of philotaxy is we are called, its name is known as ternate philotaxy. Clear? So this turnate philotaxy, one of this good example is medium, arely. So this is the species, they come so that in this type of philotaxy. Which type of philotaxy? Turnate philotaxy. Understood children? Yes. Next one is we are going to learn about this. The last one of this type is the world or verticillate philotaxy. World or verticillate philotaxy. World means that's a round or that's a circle. Okay. But here, how many leaves are the presence in that world means more than three leaves. Okay, more than three leaves are the presence in each node region. They are arranging in a world or circular manner. Okay, that is the type of the philotaxis we are called. Its name is known as world or verticillate. Another one name is known as verticillate type of philotaxis. That's a good one of the example of the species as Alamantra, one of the ornamental flower. Clear? So that's the species name is Alamantra. Understood children? So these are the that's the types of philotaxy. So first of all, suppose they are asking that's one of the five mark question means what is philotaxy? So what is the meaning of philotaxy? And the next one you write about what is the type of philotaxy? So there you are to be mentioning these four types and also you are to be Draw the diagram part. Okay, children. So, this diagram also you must draw, children. Then only you will get it's a full mark for this question answer. Understood, ma'am? The last one of this item leaf mosaic. What does it mean by leaf mosaic? That's a leaf or they fit into within that one another. Okay, the leaves or they fit within in one another. So, that is we are called leaf mosaic. What is the major functions of leaf mosaic means? So that one is secure that is the maximum amount of sunlight and also that is the minimum of this minimum amount that is the overlapping of this leaf. So this reducing that is one only they adjust to presence that the leaf mosaic. So here suppose if we are taking in this as an example of the species of Archaelifa indica Kupe meanings. This Tamil name is we are calling that set Kupai Mini. These plants, two types of the leaf is they present, children. The shorter petioles and the longer petioles. They exposing that the full leaves or they get it in a sun, sufficient sunlight. That's a purpose only. The long petioles leaf and shorter petioles leaves are present in these species. Okay. That's the species we are mentioning in this is the example is for leaf mosaic. That's a Akalifa indica. Okay. Yes. So today's class I am going to give that's a some question answer homework children. So please all of you try to learn this daily portions daily children. So first of all I am going to give that's one of the very very important one five more question. The first part write an account of parts of leaf. Okay. So there also you must draw the diagram and then you have to be write the notes. Then second one of the five mark question, very very important one, explain philotaxy and their types. Clear children? So these are the two questions I am giving. So already I, I said uh, one 
class work note no so that class work note so love you listen ma listen very carefully so that class work note you must draw this diagram children very very important one of the five mark question no so that's why you have to be draw this parts of leaf and so that's the first part leaf base expressing this pulpiness and sheathy leaf base this diagram and also the next one next page you have to be draw this venation what are the types of venation pinnately parallel venation pinnately reticulate venation and another one more is parallel venation clear then next one is phyllotaxy this is also very very important the next page you have to be draw this diagram phyllotaxy and their types clear please all of you try to complete this diagram before the class before that class clear thank you students